Hello and welcome. I'm Bronwyn Kenku, and this is my backyard. Uh, this is brought. This is backyard progression where I take a look at my yard and note that there are very seasonal changes week to week, and I think that it's super neat. And I do a lot of work in my backyard because I'm trying to make the space nicer. It's a project I picked up during. Well, before COVID, actually, but uh, when you have a wondrous space, it's a shame to not use it. And we all have wondrous spaces in our lives. There's a demystifying that happens as we grow up. The, um, the spaces become common. They become familiar the way they are and too often we get stuck in this world that has already been created so lately I've been thinking a lot about how important change is and it's it's wild that more people don't see it, aren't part of it, don't want to accept that things move on and progress. People die, animals die. Our world's going to die at some day, but in the process, everything's changing. We... But people as a whole, are time travelers. We are obsessed with the past because we can remember things. And that memory helped us develop as a species. We truly like to live in the past. We like to have those fond memories of our youth, maybe, maybe like Sometime when something really nice happened. Favorite flavors, favorite smells. There's keen memories that are attached to all of these things. Because, like, if we didn't, we'd kind of just go about our day and do whatever and, like, accept the next thing. Which, um, I feel like some religions and some faiths push towards this whole, like, living in the moment when it's very unreasonable to detach yourself from your worldly attachments uh there's so much that builds a person in everything they do it's um it's a big deal you are who you are because of what you went through and where you grew up, and how you lived. There's only so much that you can do to step away from that. But when it comes to our physical world, there's no way to go back in time. There's no way to... Uh, make things the way they were because everything else is different. Too often, it's coming from a place of love, of remembrance, of just that pure desire for things to be better. And when you understand less, things seem a lot better. You don't understand the trauma you go through. You don't understand uh, all the pain and suffering that's going on around you. And that's why ignorance is bliss, for sure. There's only so much you can do to 
change that for yourself. Like becoming more knowledgeable truly ends up with more suffering. Smarter people are more depressed. It's unfortunate. It's it's amazing what you can't ignore when you're aware of it. Um, I think vegans especially are susceptible to this concept of like, they became very aware of the suffering that was caused in the uh, meat industry, uh, animal product industry in general. There's suffering there. There's not great lives out there for anything in captivity, people included. Um, I was talking here about new growth, and this tree is really representative. It's wild to see uh, how things function in the wild, and how um, how much better we can make things if we look to the wild. <clears throat> Try to create ecosystems more than, uh, we than farms. I guess would be the way to think of it, and that's more of what I'm trying to do here. I'd like better paths for the deer so they can get around a little bit better. In doing that, I'm probably making it easier for the deer to get caught by coyotes, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the kill rate should be or is, so who's to say? Um, it's so interesting to think about all the invasive species and how transformed the land is. Not having the knowledge sucks. Like, not knowing which trees are what, which plants are what, what's native and what's invasive. It's a lot to know, and there's probably a lot of learning to even get close to what I'd want to know about this place. But it's, it's really hard to figure out where humans fit in an ecosystem. Where do we fall in line with a food chain or how would that even work? Because we change our surroundings so much. Like beavers and I suppose ants, maybe termites. There's not a whole lot of uh, creatures that really change a surrounding area. But we do. And it's drastic. So Coming back to nature, coming back to what seems like it should be the way things are, as far as like, as far as the world goes, people are kind of uh, an anomaly. We have grown far too big. And we continue to come up with ways to feed ourselves, even though a lot of it is trash, a lot of it is processed. That is the, uh, the weird side of veganism, I suppose, is... Sure, an Oreo might be gluten-free and dairy-free or whatever. I'm not sure if Oreos are dairy-free, I shouldn't say, but... 
I know that there are very few real ingredients in an Oreo. And for sake of my thought, we'll assume they're vegan. They're probably not. But that just because we can make it and you can ingest it does not mean it's good for you. Does not mean that that's a better way of eating. <laughs> And with the knowledge that plants have communication and feelings and they react to stimuli, they're somewhat sentient. Also, real quick, I'm going to highlight this little area over here. Think about that in a minute when we come to that again. Because I've been doing a bunch of work there and I'm really proud of it. And it's been part of my therapy and help with my depression to be very aware of my accomplishments. To make spaces nicer, to have this effect on a land and space. Because... The world is very chaotic right now. There isn't much certainty in anything. So, knowing when you can change something is huge. Knowing what you can and can't change can shift your perspective wildly. Because too often, we are stuck ruminating on a concept that we cannot change. Like I said, people like to be time travelers. We like to get stuck in the past. Uh, like might be a strong word. We do get stuck in the past. Because of different traumas, different memories, different incidents where things went poorly that we're trying to avoid to make sure we don't get hurt again. Make sure that we learn from our mistakes. Make sure history doesn't repeat itself. As too often it is. It's a shame. And it's telling that there are books being banned. There's history being banned it's it's unreasonable i'm one of the people who believe <clears throat> that information should flow freely there should not be uh too many regulations on the information out there the that being said there's a lot of chemicals and different um items that should be a little bit more restricted in their sale and use and whatnot but that's just you know setting aside the ability for people to make bombs and whatever and anarchists cookbook on that side of knowledge but if I think it'd be, I think it's really cool and unfortunate that it comes up every now and again that some kid gets a hold of some radioactive material somehow, like, and makes some sort of nuclear device in their garage. Like, how smart are they? Like, it's, it blows me away how many prodigies we have that end up in really weird situations because of some, some sketchy legal business. And it's scary, for sure, because of the other end of that thought. Like, sure, you've got the kid whose science experiment could change the world. 
And then you've got the people who actively want to change the world with a bomb. And it's, it's rough. There has to be better, better, like, the knowledge of this thing is one thing. The use of it is another. What you're doing and what your intent is, is very important. If you end up hurting people is also important regardless of your intent. Which is a hard lesson for a lot of people because um, intention means a lot. It is actively like the thing you're intending to do or not. And if it didn't work out the way it was intended, you're still responsible. Like, I created this little path over. I still need to pick that up, but... I created this little path over. My intention was to get from spot to spot. The action, the actual world situation, may be quite different. Stay tuned. Um, so, it's, it's a wild world out there. It's impressive, to say the least, that we actually do survive and thrive in this strange place. But the more we do, the more we change. And it is time for a little change. So this was last week. Let's, let's get to this week. One moment. And we're back. So this week, it's a little greener, a little nicer. It just rained. It did snow prior in the week. So don't worry too much about that. The blooms don't seem to be too harmed. I got distracted by a thought. Um, <laughs> I was informed earlier that there is a uh, raccoon corpse in the back that I need to collect. So that'll be fun and interesting for the bone pile. New stuff for this year. See how that rots. Um, because from death comes life. And it's important to let nature take care of that. Let nature uh, clean up the bones, get what nutrients need be got from it before I get it back to my world and my uses. I love bones. They have always been a fascination of mine because I've always had back problems. And just the way our skeletal structure works is... A fantastic mechanical marvel. We are unreasonable beings, truly. It's wild that we can exist the way we do, the way we can uh, be out here and move around how we do the super athletes out there, the the people who are superhumans, it's unreasonable. So, but we all have a skeleton, and that bone structure can change a lot about who we are, and it can tell a lot about who we are. 
the fact that our bones react to the stimuli that they've received in life, remembering all those falls and different ways we moved around, jumping, running, they'll actively change to the way we are living. And when I learned that, when I learned that when I changed the concept of this person is fat because they have poor impulse control. That is an old way of thinking that is, you know, what is taught, unfortunately, by media and society. Instead, this person's body is the way it is because of their environment. My body is the way it is because of their environment. When you don't have money for uh, healthy foods, cheap foods are not healthy for you. 99% of the time, if it's cheap, there's likely a lot of additives, a lot of sugar, a lot of rough bits that gunk up your system. And I'm not a doctor. None of what I'm saying is medical advice. Nothing. I wouldn't advise anyone to try anything I do at home. But I think the information should be out there. I think it's better to understand that everyone around you is living their own lived experience with what they have, with what they can do, with under the influence of those who would wish to make you buy their products. Things are tasty for good reason. It helps sell the product and it's unfortunate that there's so much addictive substances in the things we eat that aren't healthy for us. It's, it's a really unfortunate existence. It's really unfortunate when the world we live in is poisoning us because corporations want to make money on selling you poison. And that's just the way of the world. We actively kill ourselves with cigarettes and alcohol and sugar and caffeine because our environment demands it. We need to have that pep in our step. We need to have enough energy to interact with people in ungodly hours where we ought not. <laughs> and that goes both ways. Like for the morning people, you're oftentimes ending up in night shifts. For night people, you'll end up in morning shifts. It's really wild that the world is structured the way it is. And that capitalism just breeds all of this. So it's, it's a little hellish out there. And we're not allowed to be in our lane very often. But I hope we can all move a little bit closer and try our best to be in these situations where we're doing things that actively make sense. We're changing our environment to make our bodies better. To change our bodies, we need to change our environment. Seems like a strange way to do it, but it is. If you can't control yourself around cookies, don't buy cookies. Like, I, I am absolutely a culprit of this like 
When I find a sweet thing that I can have, I've always had a sweet tooth. I destroy a lot of different sweets. Even if I make them for myself, like, they're not always completely safe. But it's probably not a good idea for me to have them around. But I do. <laughs> and... There's something special about mouth pleasure that makes it very hard to deal with food addictions and uh, some of the food we engage with. Speaking of foods in the foraged world it's really interesting at this point because the wild onions have started coming up they're not like a big food source but if you were looking and you were hungry you could get enough onions for a meal like would it be ideal hell no the world of the hunter-gatherer had to be rough as hell but with dandelions and these wild onions knowing more of these different uh bits there's plenty of different things you could be ingesting and imbibing there's plenty of teas to be made from different leaves and roots i know dandelion root could be made into a coffee and i want to try that um, I think back to One Hour, One Life, and there's a lot of interesting little bits that I kind of want to show off because that game is really, um, really true to form in a lot of things. But... It's hard to find the space to do that kind of thing in a video like this. Like... It would be a little off form, but I don't know. Maybe people would like it. The most interesting thing to me that has been my creative experience is without direction going towards a thing so this whole thing started off as a way for me to find out um different places of progress and since i've got the video anyway may as well record it and upload it I think it's super neat to have a chronicle of this kind of stuff and just like to be able to go back and look like, hey, there's the, what this creek looked like just last year. Same time, like same week of the year. Where are we at? What's different? What's going on? How... How wild are the seasons that we live in? How unpredictable is the world we live in? It's amazing documentation, and I can only imagine products and things like, like the world as a there are so many games that try to have seasons have weather and none of it makes sense none of it affects things it would be super cool if there was a game that did that 
like if it rained super hard the creeks would flood different old creek beds that are your paths suddenly are flooded out if um windstorms destroyed trees knocked them down caused damage flinged things around and or into others tornadoes hurricanes tsunamis there's a lot of very angry weather earthquakes have the ground shift and tremble and shake everything on it And none of these things have to be at a specific time of day. Lightning strikes. Thunderstorms. Uh, aren't always so uh, straightforward. We've had those super thunderstorms. We have had ball lightning. We have plenty of different natural occurrences that actively mess up the environment they're in, cause wildfires, cause the natural change of things. And this was my find for today. I don't know if you saw it. There was this little corner sticking out. And when I go to pull it up, it's a one-way sign. What the fuck? How would this get here? It's... What I imagine living in a dystopian, like, far-off future, everything-failed kind of universe would do. And it's, it's unreal to, like, find something like that. How'd that even get there? But beyond that, it held up really well. Like... It's amazing how much litter holds up. And that's not necessarily litter. That's kind of weird. But all the same. <laughs> uh, time moves one way. And that was today's sign to remind me of that. Oh shoot, I never highlighted that one spot. I'll have to go back and do that real quick. I'm at 15 minutes. Let's go back to about here, yeah? I didn't even uh, talk all that much about it because I was lost in my other thoughts. But um, coming through here, I did ask to uh, keep a spot in mind in particular, and I wanted to highlight that, and I didn't. Is this too far? This is probably... wait, did I not... I know why I didn't highlight it. Did I not go that way? <laughs> I must have, right? Like, I don't really go this way anymore. I cut over. Yeah. So we should be cutting over here. Good. <laughs> uh, so, we remember, there was a giant pile of stuff here. That's all gone. Anyway. Thank you for indulging me. <laughs> um... Back to where we were. Um, it's... It's important to congratulate yourself on a job well done. It's important to... not judge yourself against your past. Or judge yourself against others. There's a lot one person can do. There's 
gotta be the right environment to nurture the things you want to do make it easy to access that instrument you want to play give yourself a space to draw or write or engage with any kind of hobby you have make it available have that origami paper out and ready if things are in drawers or if things are in a little closed off space that's kind of hard to get to or like you have to actively like make it a trip have the yoga mat out have weights out be able to change your environment to make it better for you to change yourself the way you want to be different don't have junk food in the house if you're just going to eat it because it's there it's going to get eaten more than likely you can't if you can't have things as treats because your brain says i'm an adult i can do what i want i can have the treat now i don't have to restrict myself then maybe that's not a good system for you and this is the result of my actions here i was trying to make a little path and because i didn't put stuff up on blocks it flooded it dammed up and created some issues so i've got to go back there today and get it up on blocks change the material i used or whatever make sure i'm not making the space i'm around me any worse and i hope you all can have a great day uh have a good time and remember that life goes one way so uh till next time i'm gonna cut the stream here for uh youtube but i'm gonna continue playing uh continue on to some minecraft today so thank y'all for watching be sure to like follow subscribe if you're watching this on youtube feel free to check me out on twitch uh follows are free all around the, the system so be sure to do that 